Okay, so section C is all about generating your design ideas and this should be really creative. At this stage, try not to worry about how you're going to actually make the product or if it's something that you can achieve because that's not really relevant at this stage. In fact, it's not relevant at all. If designers only sketched and drew things they knew exactly how to make, then we would never innovate and we'd never come up with like new exciting technologies. And sometimes, from an idea or a concept, it can take 20, 30 years before the technology will become realised. But that's, that shouldn't stop us from having those ideas. And so, most of this section is really judging you on your ability to be creative and to really think outside of the box about how you can solve these problems with something new, something that doesn't already exist. So sometimes I see the bit of a trap where students will uh, start to sketch and design things that uh, when I go through their folder I see them in the mood board or I see them in their product analysis and they're really just recreating something. Uh, the only difference maybe being the, the appearance of it or maybe adding an extra function, and that's, that's okay, it's something that's new, but it's not necessarily going to lead to those high level marks. Uh, really, you need to be creative here. So, there are some techniques you can use, like random input or biomimicry, and again, um, Google them, I'll ask your teacher, I won't go into them here, but I'd be looking to see some of those techniques as I look at your design ideas. Now, section C, should really consist of a few different things. Now, first of all, it's, it's wrong to think that this is all about the quality of your sketches, because it's not. Your sketches can be rough, they can be barely uh, understandable. It's about communicating an idea. So if you're good at drawing and you can communicate your idea through a range of sketches, 2D, 3D, um, then that's fantastic. If you can't, then rely more on notes, make annotations, label around your sketches, explain things with words better. Additionally, you don't even have to just do sketches, you can start to do some rough prototypes at this stage. And as I said before, this course, there's a lot of making in this course, it's just not the old fashioned where you go step by step and you make a high quality box that shows 25 different techniques on it, that's not really the course. Um, but there's a lot of hands-on opportunities, you can do a lot of making, it's just, it's more rough prototyping. So, you can make a model out of paper, out of Play-Doh, I often have students make models out of plasticine or Play-Doh or blue tack, even masking tape on occasion, uh, as you can see. Just very quick, rapid prototypes that give me a physical idea of how a product will look or the size it will be. But they shouldn't be detailed at this point. This is about quantity over quality. The more ideas you have, the better, really. So lots of sketches, lots of creativity, lots of annotations and notes, some rough models and prototypes, and you should really be exploring all these ideas. And that's section C. What I'd like to see at the end of a section C, so I'd normally look to see two or three pages of, of sketches, models, ideas and concepts. And then I'd quite like to see those ideas, maybe with some client feedback, so which ones do the client prefer? Uh, which ones are going to meet your brief criteria? So once we've had this surge of creativity, we've gone mad with it, now it's time to pop back on our rational hats. Which one of these actually has somewhere to go? Which one of these is worth taking forwards? And it might be two or three. I'd, I'd advise you should probably try and do two or three in order to make this folder good and in order to really explore. If you just pick one idea and you've done a couple of sketches but they're all kind of the same thing and then you develop that idea and then you make that idea and then you end up with a really good product, you've, that's called fixation. You've just had this one thing and you've, you've been afraid or uncommitted to explore alternative ideas. And so that can really hinder you in terms of progress and marks. So to avoid fixation, I would probably say get as many ideas as you can. Really use those creative thinking techniques like biomimicry, random input. 
and then select maybe two or three that your client likes and that will meet the brief at least in some of the areas because don't forget you've not decided yet you're going to develop you're going to refine this further so that be it end of section c sketches rough prototypes annotations some client feedback on the best ideas and then linking those ideas do they meet the brief or what what do you need to do next maybe a little summary of which ideas you're going to further develop and that's the end of section c